Hey there, YouTube Tank Cows here. Just doing a Terrigen tutorial. So, Terrigen is a free program. You can get it off of planetside.com, pretty much. And it's they have like overview and basic instructions on how to use it. So, let's first open up the program. So, just double click on Terrigen, and you'll get these two windows right here. So, you got landscape and rendering control. First, start in the landscape mode click on generate terrain and I apologize for the text issues I'm having troubles with my resolution and it's not liking the program but you can still get the basic ideas of this tutorial so just click on generate terrain and you get this so realism depends on how real realistic the picture is going to look smoothing is if it's going to be smooth or rough glaciation will build mountains and hills while canyon this will make like canyons and holes and ravines and stuff like that. So for this tutorial, I'm going to leave realism and smooth at the same. But I'm going to turn glaciation up and canyons up. So then click generate terrain and you'll get this picture right here. Now basically every time there's white, that means there's a hill right there. And every time there's blue, that means there's water right there. So just keep clicking this until you get like a pretty cool looking picture. So... Let me just find a good one. Okay, so let's stick with this one. So exit out of that and double click. Like first click render preview and you can't really see anything. Okay, so there's the picture. Turn the detail level up for now. And double click on this picture right here. So it'll bring up a bigger picture of this map right here. So just keep moving your camera around till you get a pretty cool position like that's not very cool let's see now yeah. okay yeah okay we'll stick with this for now so okay so now if we want to put water right here because it's kinda of getting in the way of the picture so click on the tool with the little tractor on it and you'll get this little red circle with a like plus. So find where the camera is so it's right around here and right click until you see blue. So then just color in this area full of blue or you can put like a little island right there if you want but Yeah, so basically just fill in the area that you want with water and let's see, render preview. So there's the little island I built, and let's just go a little bit further over so we don't get it in the picture. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Let's add another little island like over here. There it is. Okay, so there's another little island right over there. Okay, so now you can close out the landscape view tool and let's head on over to the water tool. So water effects is pretty self-explanatory. For this tutorial I'm going to put roughness as zero so there's no like ripples in the water and that way it'll reflect the most. And then wave size I'm just going to leave at uh, 50. And visibility effect just leave that. So wave variation, you can change it if you want to, but it doesn't. It's not very noticeable, so I'm just not gonna gonna change it. So now head over to the uh, uh, lighting conditions, and if we want to get the sunlight right over here or over here, or wherever you want, you move this little red line to like as close as you can get over here or wherever you want. So I'm going to try and get it over here, which I got it perfect. Now let's lower it a little bit so it's halfway behind the mountain. A little bit more. Okay, so there it is. So let's turn the sunlight level down. And then let's turn the, uh, yeah. So that's basically, that's pretty good right there. 
So close that out and let's open up the atmosphere. So let's turn haze a little bit up. Don't put it too high because it'll just be like a huge fog storm. Turn it down a little bit more. Okay, so now you can just leave these if you want, but if you really want to get some detail, you can edit these. And you're pretty much done. So change image size to 1280 by 768 because it, it'll make it a bigger, bigger picture, which means it'll be high resolution. So just 768 in the height and 100 or 1220, 12, blah, 1280 in width. So click close and render image. And this this can take anywhere from a minute to five minutes. So I'm gonna pause the recording and wait till it's done. Okay, so it finished and this is pretty cool stats. It shows 578,236 quadrilaterals to make this picture. And it took about a minute and 20 seconds. So just click OK and you'll have your picture right here. So click Save. And I made a Terrigen folder in my documents, but that's optional. Just wherever you want to save it, save it to that. So let's name it World 9. And click Save. So it'll finish that. Click the X button. And you really don't have to save any of this because all you really need is the picture. So exit out of Terrigen. Say yes and go, go to your documents, or in my case, my documents, and Terrigen, and there it is. So it's a smaller version, which means it's higher resolution, and it looks pretty good. So that's the end of, the, end of this tutorial, but I'll show you some of my other creations, so enjoy. And subscribe, comment, and like if you thought this was useful, and thanks for watching. Alo, alo, sunt eu, Picasso, ți-am dat bip Și sunt voinic, dar să știi, nu-ți cer nimic Vrei să pleci, dar numai, numai ei, numai, numai ei Să-ți spun ce simt acum Alo, iubirea mea Sunt eu fericirea Alo, alo Sunt iarăși eu Picasso, ți-am dat bip Și sunt voinic Dar să știi, nu-ți cer nimic Vrei să pleci, dar numai, numai ei Numai, numai ei